In this video we're going to talk about graphing horizontal and vertical lines, but before we start that, let's do a quick review of graphing uh, lines. Basically we would call them oblique lines or diagonal lines. Um, and almost all lines are going to use this form right here. Y equals M. I'm doing that in a different color because it's significant. X plus B. Y equals MX plus B. Hopefully you've seen this before. The M, whatever number is being multiplied by X, that's going to be some number. That's your slope. And B, if there's a number added at the end or subtracted, you could think of it as adding a negative, that's going to be your Y-intercept. So hopefully you remember that slope is defined as rise over run. That tells you basically how steep the line is and what direction it's going. We'll do an example or two here. And then the y-intercept tells you where the graph is intersecting the y-axis right here. This y-axis, this uh, vertical axis. And there's your x-axis. Okay, so let's just for quick review here, let's say we've got the line uh, y equals 1 half x plus 3. So to graph this, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to determine your y-intercept, which is 3, and you're going to plot that on your y-axis just like that. Then the next thing you're going to do is figure out your slope, which is the number multiplied by the x, so that's 1 half, which is telling you rise over run is 1 over 2, 1 half. So you're going to rise 1, run 2 from the y-intercept. So from here I'm going to go up 1 over 2, make a dot, up 1 over 2, make a dot, up 1 over 2, as much as you need to. You can see that's where your line's going to be. And then you could go the opposite direction as well, down 1, left 2, which is kind of like doing this, down 1, left 2, negative, negative, because a negative divided by a negative is, is the same as a positive. That's why that will also give you the same line. Okay? So there's your line. That's how we graph lines using slope and y-intercept. All right, let's clear this out, except for the slope and y-intercept part. And we'll bring in a new graph, and we'll talk about horizontal and vertical lines. These are actually a couple of the easiest lines that you can graph if you know what you're looking for. So let's start with um, a horizontal line. A horizontal line is, um, is going to be in the form y equals b. There's, there's not going to be any x's in there. So in other words, an example would be something like y equals 4. If you were told to graph the line y equals 4, notice there's no x value. So we could think of this almost as y equals 0x plus 4, because 0 times x is just 0, so the slope is 0. So if we graph this, the y-intercept would still be 4. Of course, I pick one that's almost off my graph. That's, that's okay. It's on there. So there's 4, and then the slope is 0. So rise over run is 0. Now remember, 0 is 0 divided by any number. So I'm going to rise 0, run any number. 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 So basically, you end up with the horizontal line like that. And once you memorize this, you have um, a y equals any number. It's just going to be horizontal. It becomes very easy. So let's say I had... Um, y equals 2, or let's go negative, y equals negative 2. Okay, there's no x's in there. I know it's going to be horizontal. I go down to negative 2, I draw a horizontal line. There's the line, y equals negative 2, and I'm done. I mean, it's pretty, pretty easy once you know what to do. The only snag that could happen or something you got to watch out for, let's do a different color here. Let's say you had y plus 1 equals 0. You do have to minus that 1 over and get y equals negative 1 before you graph the line, so then it goes through negative 1. You do, it does have to be in this form right here, y equals some number, and then that number is just where you draw your horizontal line. Okay, so that's horizontal lines, 
And remember, horizontal lines have a slope of 0. Let's get rid of some of this, and we'll write that down. So you got horizontal line, and one thing you do want to remember for a horizontal line is the slope equals 0. Let's try, let's go to uh, vertical lines. Vertical lines are going to have only x's. Horizontal lines had only y's. Vertical lines are going to have only x's. So they're going to be in the form x equals some number. x equals some number. We'll call it. I'm not going to call it B because B is sort of associated with the y-intercept. We'll just call it C. For example, we might have x equals, and then pick any number. I'm going to pick a number that stays on my graph. So x equals negative 2. Since there's no y's, we cannot put it in slope-intercept form. This is the only type of line you cannot put in slope-intercept form. You can't solve it for y because there's no y's. And it's going to end up being a vertical line right through negative 2, just like this, vertical line through negative 2. So notice there's a couple characteristics of this vertical line um, that other lines don't share. This is the only line that does not have a y-intercept. It does not touch the y-axis, which kind of makes sense. I can't put it in slope-intercept form. It's not going to have a y-intercept. Um, also, since I can't put it in slope-intercept form, it actually doesn't have a slope we would say the slope is undefined or no slope. Let's just write no slope. Or we'll write or undefined. Another way to verify that the slope is undefined is to think about um, the equation we had for a slope before, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So if you pick two points on the line and then put them in this formula, you're going to see what happens here. If I, I'm just picking any two points at random here, negative 2, 2, and negative 2, 0. So if I plug those into my formula and I go y minus y, I get 2 minus 0 over negative 2 minus negative 2. Watch your negatives there, negative 2 minus negative 2. And that gives you 2 over 0. Now you can't divide by 0. If you punch this into your calculator, 2 divided by 0, it's going to say error or dividing by 0 error or something like that depending on your calculator. Um, and this is an, uh, some of you will think, well, wait a minute, isn't that 0? Isn't 2 divided by 0, 0? And uh, it's not. Let me go a little bit more into that. I'm kind of running out of space here. Let's, let's talk about that over here. If you take 0 divided by any number, I'll just put a little number sign there, that's going to come out to be 0. But any number divided by 0 is no solution or error. And the reason is, is because when you're dividing, if you take 0 divided by some number, then that would mean that 0 times that number would have to equal this top number. And that's always true. Zero times anything would give you zero. For example, um, if we were doing this without dividing by zero, let's say we were doing eight divided by two. Well, that's four, because four times two is eight. There's always that relationship between division and multiplication. But if you're dividing by zero, what you're saying is you have to come up with some number here that you can multiply by zero to get that number and there is no number. For example, over here, 2 divided by 0, if I take, um, if, I, if I say 2 divided by 0 and I'm trying to come up with a number, an answer, whatever that answer is, I'd have to be able to multiply it by 0 to get 2. And nothing times 0 is 2. There's no answer. There's no solution. That's why your calculator is going to say error. And that's why there's no slope or the slope is undefined. Now that's a lot of explanation there, and what you just have to remember is that uh, a vertical line has no slope, or the slope is undefined, and a horizontal line has a zero slope. Zero is different than no slope. Zero is actually a number. Okay, Horizontal line, slope of zero. Vertical line, no slope or undefined. 
If it's a y equals, it's going to go horizontal. If it's an x equals, it's going to go vertical. So this equation right here, or the equation of this line is x equals negative 2. x equals negative 2 vertical. If I had the equation y equals 2, that would be horizontal through 2 y equals 2. So you've got three different kinds of lines. You've got horizontal lines where the equations have y's and no x's. You've got vertical lines where the equations have x's and no y's. And then you've got your, I don't know, oblique lines or slanted lines that have both x's and y's that you can put in this form right here, y equals mx plus b. Um, Let's call those oblique lines. So an oblique line, say, could be y equals uh, 2x minus 3. So that line has got a y-intercept of negative 3. And then the slope is 2 over 1. So I'm going to go up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1. And you get this line right here. So that's this is a little example of the three kind of lines that you're going to have. Hopefully that helps with horizontal and vertical lines. Once you understand how the equation tells you whether it's horizontal or vertical, you'll find that these are the easiest and fastest lines to graph.